everyone, so I made this Mary D non-smock dress and I have a tutorial that I'll link below if you'd like to see how I constructed the dress. It's super easy, a great project for a beginner. But anywho, I got done with the dress and I thought, oh bother, I should have added some piping to it. But since the dress was all the way done, I didn't want to rip open the seams to add piping. So instead, I thought I'd add some crocheted lace. So I got this size 10 crochet thread and a 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. First I sewed the crochet thread to the areas I wanted the lace so I would have something to crochet into. So I took the thread up on the back side of the garment and pierced through the thread as I created a loop. Then I went through the loop and between going through this loop and piercing the thread, that's how I secured the thread without having any huge knots staring back at you. So from there I used the back stitch to sew this thread onto the dress. So I take my needle ahead to the front of the stitch and then back into the previous stitch area, if that makes sense. Sort of like backtracking your stitches, hence the name back stitch. And I try to keep the stitches at a quarter inch spacing. So once that's complete on the bodice skirt seam, I repeat the same idea to the sleeve. I took my needle up away from where I wanted to start. That way I could hide the tail of the thread inside the garment. And then I pierced through the thread to secure it in place, again, without the use of a knot. And I didn't do the loop thing here though, but don't ask me why, just go ask your mother. No, that's a child's book, just kidding. Anywho, again, I used the back stitch to line the armhole around so I could crochet into this later on. And I did the same thing to the neckline as well. So once all of that was done, then I made a slip knot and I started to crochet into the stitches. I did a row of half double crochet stitches. So I'm yarning over, going into the stitch, picking up a loop, and then going into all three loops. Again, yarning over, going into a stitch, picking up a loop, and then going through all three loops. And I did two half double crochet hooks per stitch. Well, that's roughly it. Some places I did one, some places I did two. I kind of made sure I wasn't stretching the stitches. And then I did a row of PK stitches. So I would chain three, and then go back into the same stitch and do a slip stitch to create the PK. And I decided to space them out about six stitches. So I would do a single crochet stitch into the next six stitches before I do another PK. And there are a bunch of different lace edges out there. You can Google or Pinterest different patterns. I just thought this embellishment was something a little bit different from my usual style, but I think it's really darling and I think that it makes the whole dotted Swiss fabric just kind of twinkle a little bit. You know, I thought I'd need another cut pop of color and I think this treatment it worked out pretty well. So it was something I did while sitting on the couch as a project nurse. So I hope you found it helpful and inspirational. I'm not really looking for this to be so much a step-by-step -step tutorial as a inspirational tutorial. <laughs> By no means am I a, a avid crocheter. So, anywho, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer them. As always, I appreciate y'all for watching, and I hope to catch y'all next time.